Welcome to Let's Talk About That, the show about the show. I'm Stevie, and I disliked Rewind. This week's guests turned their frowns upside down via an experimental operation funded by all grandmothers, preschool teachers, and misogynists everywhere. Please welcome <laughs> Rhett and Link. <laughs> had trouble with the word experimental. How'd you know about that operation? <laughs> well, I mean, when you smile, it's hard to- See my I mean, teeth? Yeah, frowning and smiling yeah. is just looks like beard to me. <laughs> um, this week, it's another pack show. Um, I figured we'd do like a little bit of a react episode this week. So the first thing I wanna do is we've we've had a couple weeks to get used to the change in the new intro. Okay. I wanna go back through all the intros we've done and oh, add some wanna color. Do that. Yeah, oh, I wanna yeah, react okay. to them. I want to tell the Mythical Beasts a little bit more about them than they already know. Um, and I also have a new possible LTAT intro I wanted to show you and get your opinion on. So we'll do too, that first. Also, I was on a little show called YouTubers React. What? Um, and I didn't want you guys to watch it because I wanted you to react. I knew here. you were on there, but I haven't seen it because yeah. I couldn't. I, I couldn't avoid the Twitter, the Twitter exactly. sphere, people yeah. talking about it. But I did, have not watched it because I wanted to watch yeah. it on so this show. So we have show. like a little, little clips of that that I want you to react to um, the mythical, mythical beast to see, and then go watch the rest of the video. Mm. And then I have some party combo tips because I felt like last week went really well and people used all of them. So we're gonna do it again. Uh, but first, it is time for a GMM rejected snack. And I think you're gonna like this one. Um, this okay. week we tasted various different pizza styles to mm. determine that New York pizza was in fact the best one. But mm -hmm. we did not go west. Yeah, because we are, we are west. But Josh found a pizza style, Colorado pizza style, which I really wanted to try because I've never about had this. this. Wait, what? We've been to Fort Collins and had it. Do I know this? Should I know is it, this? Is it, well, I don't know. I, well, Josh, tell me come what on it in, is. Come on in. Yeah, tell us about it. We may not have had it. So it's a modified deep dish pizza with a braided crust. It is. Yes. It is. It is. It is. It. Honey. Yes. And yes. They're, um, I Thank love you. this pizza. What's the this name? Thing? Am I doing this? What's the name of that place? Am I doing this? Link. So, What's Bojo's. the name of Bojo's? Bojo's. Yeah. Yes. Bojo's. Been, here. been to Bojo's. They have an incredible. Wait, why did you go to Bo when would you? When this is this? twenty years ago. Yeah, oh wow. Know, maybe more than that. And uh, look at that. We ate at Bojo's, and they had the buffalo chicken pizza. And this is mm -hmm. back when buffalo chicken pizza was like, whoa, can you do that? <laughs> oh, it you must know? have been 20 years ago. And they instead of tomato oh, sauce, my. they use a ranch dressing mix with hot sauce as the base. And I still make that pizza to this day in my own kitchen, but I do not braid the crust because that is uh, advanced. You're right. The braiding the crust is advanced. I like failed the first time. Oh wow! So you can't. It looks fail. really it's nice. Hard. It looks very very nice. And they do it by hand on every pizza, and I have nothing but respect for Bojo's. It is so cheesy, Josh. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks. Look at that. You oh, got would you like slice. some, Josh? Or would you just really like? To I like look watching at you guys eat. It's dink more it. fun. Dink it. Hmm. Mm, so good. Huh. Distant dink it. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is much better than the milk from last week. Yeah. I feel like well, this might be better than anything we ate on the show. <gasps> well, you're, you're, you're probably really hungry right now. Colorado pizza style is the best pizza style. I love it. Um, all right, so tonight, many pe people may be having not Colorado pizza, but something else to eat with other people at a party. See oh. how that segue works? Whoop, and whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't want them to have to do the work of going through our episodes and gleaning that knowledge for themselves. So let me tell you what you could be talking to your friends or your acquaintances or people you haven't met tonight at these parties you're going to. Let me leave. What? <laughs> Josh is like, you want me to yeah, leave? Oh, leave? Oh, oh, you can leave, yes. I'd like to leave, if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not for any reason, I just, you know. Yeah, yeah. Josh hates parties. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you, can I take this? You, you, is that why you were looking at me? Yeah, yeah. I thought you were looking at me for, I thought you were telling me to leave. Oh, no, I was just looking at you. Um, oh, sure. I'll let no, Josh, you keep it. Okay, you keep it. You were introducing the party, the party combo. Josh was looking at me, I was like, okay, and I looked at him and I, I nodded, and he interpreted that as, time to go, buddy. <laughs> yep. You know what, David, yes, thank you. Yes. You, you, you saw me. Me too. I'm struggling. Anyway, party talk. Um, pizza styles. So there was one style of pizza, thank you, that I uh, 
I did not know existed, and it got really far in the competition. Get all the people move up, Detroit. The part that I was more shocked by is that Little Caesars is Det Detroit based and has the Detroit style pizza Which became on their the menu. Clincher. Little Caesars is Detroit style. Yeah, the man from Michigan just confirmed that. <laughs> Okay, New York wins. <laughs> For them not to no, win. Hold on, so that's conflicting information. What do you mean? You said they have it on their menu. Yes, it's called. You, but you're, I, I just thought it was like when I got no, the have... $5 pizza, which I think right. is now no, $6. No, no. They have various different styles, but their Detroit style pizza is called DEEP, in all caps, exclamation point, DEEP, again, same way, dish, all one word. So that's just the because they serve it, it didn't win. That, uh, I mean, yeah, I, well, I feel I feel kind of bad now because I feel like the way it was phrased was, "This is what Little Caesar serves," which is not incorrect. This is supposed to be a fun party. There's talk. lots no. of conjecture. <laughs> party at this talk. Point. Where we go back. I feel like I should apologize to the city of Detroit. Okay. Do it. But then I would have to apologize to the city of New York, which is larger, so I'm not going to do it. Why? Why? I don't want people coming after me. Listen, I can't tell you the last time <laughs> Rhett's actually apologized. You can't do it. Yeah, yeah. I talk about apologizing quite a bit, though. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I just you thought it was it, interesting. Man. Deep, deep dish. <laughs> Little Caesars. Detroit-style pizza. Looks really good. I didn't have any that day because I was uh, exercising self-control. Speaking of other things that we learned this week, we tested natural cleaners versus chemical cleaners. Yeah. Um, and... We discovered that natural cleaners do just as well as chemical cleaners on the show. They work pretty evenly. So what a relief. I looked up, well, there was a general statement about how chemical cleaners aren't very good for you, but I wanted to like really delve into why that was the case. This is a little bit more of an That's LA why you've been drinking chemicals all week? <laughs> yeah. I wanted to do my own experiment by drinking these things. Because you don't eat it. You don't eat carpet. At least not usually. Did you know? And this gets a little bit dark, but I just, it's interesting. An EPA study like concluded dark. that the toxic chemicals in household cleaners are three times more likely to cause cancer than outdoor air itself. So they did, they like went into people's homes and tested the air and it's yeah. bad. Well, and let's keep, let's keep going even darker. Okay. Um, people who clean for a living, uh, have very high cancer rates yeah. because they're constantly exposed to these chemical cleaners. It's they should a, be cleaning with the natural stuff. They, but we they should. The natural yeah, works it, as well. Yes, if you if you own a company that has people who clean, switch to natural. <laughs> you should really just be cleaning with vinegar. This would work well for water a party solution. in which everyone cleans things. I think. Like vinegar a hold on, cleans hold on, everything. Hold on, like a. Like a Merry Maids conference, which yeah. incidentally, we happened to go to by accident. <laughs> yes. That was a did. blast. <laughs> but they were also wearing sports out. Sports it was because well, <laughs> the night we were there, it was fan night where you expressed your fandom. <laughs> they know how to have fun. I think that that's, you can also talk about the Merry Maids conference at your party tonight. I think people will like that as well. Um, so... I, you know, there's a general sentiment every time we, we change an intro. We I, love this! <laughs> yeah. I really, deep, deep dish, really <laughs> like this, this intro. Or I really hate this intro. Or a nice pattern I uh, realized uh, the past couple weeks was like, this is just every intro keeps getting worse or every intro keeps getting better. But oh, then no. after a while, people are like, we're not going to comment on the intro anymore. It's something that we're used to. But I have seen, because people who've been watching the show know that inevitably we are going to change the intro every yeah. few seasons. And no, we're not ever going to go back. <laughs> people are like, you should go back to season yeah, 10, yes. season 10 or whatever. Yeah. That's never going to happen. But people, they understand now that it's going to happen regardless of what they say. So a lot of comments are, I don't really like this, but I know I'll get used to it. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to look back at our old intros, uh, and uh, a couple of them I wasn't even here for, so I need you to kind of fill in some commentary. But um, okay. So the first intro I wanted to look at uh, was launched January 9th, 2012. Mm. Oh, we're doing these out of order. What? Nope, that's the first episode. <laughs> oh, we're doing these in order. <laughs> what could be um, happening in his brain? <laughs> I wish I could see a that chart. Just, that just doesn't seem like that long ago. 
I'm like, I would have, I would have, it had to have been 2010. That was when we started seven the show. years ago. It was yeah. over a, it was a week morning, and seven Ch years Chia ago. Chia Lincoln was 2011, and then 2012 was good. So we're doing these yeah. in, in order. order. We are. Um, this was season one and two. You guys made this intro. The song was royalty free music, and Love it. let's it's a great take one. a look. Oh, yeah. It's nice. Short, sweet. Breakfast themed. The toast letters, they look so nice. We kept that toast for a long time and then we we gave it away to a mythical beast. A mythical beast won that toast. Hmm. They did, didn't they? Yes. Toast holds up. Okay. All right, so the next intro. The eggs, however, do not, that, and that, by the way, that is the card table that the show. Yeah, I noticed on that. Yeah. Underneath there. Um, okay. Second intro, January 14th, 2013. Uh, seasons three through season five. Uh, animator was Kendrick Kidd, and intro motion graphics was Eden Soto. The song was the same. It was still royalty free. Let's take a look. Wow, okay, there yes. There it is. And a few interesting things about that one. Obviously, that intro has served as the template for every intro since. And that you're kind of moving through some kind of landscape and then you end on the cockatrice mm -hmm. blowing the, the fire logo. I interesting thing, because it was royalty-free music, uh, but it was, it was music that was being used in lots of things at the time, like lots of commercials and stuff, and we would get messages all the time, so-and-so stole GMM's oh, yeah. music! Because people that, didn't yeah. understand how royalty-free music... Erectile yeah. dysfunction <laughs> medication, <laughs> she's using your... your you guys need to get your lawyers on that. Uh, also, there is a Randler in the intro on the left that's in the shadows that Hidden. A, a lot of people do not see. You can watch uh, watch this next time, Stevie. See if you see it. Not, see the oh, shadows. There, there it is. Yep. Oh, you there see it. his tail? Oh, yeah. There yeah. he was. I really hid that one, huh? Yeah. Um, a lot of people are like, I like the first intro the best, but I always think that they're talking about this intro. Do you think they're talking about the toast? I think intro? they're talking about whatever's first for, for them. For them. Yeah, they, they don't know. Um, okay, so... After, when I joined you guys, that that was our intro. Um, and then we did the Mythical Show. And that's when we found Digital Twigs. Yes. Um, so we did- That a, was an amazing intro it's for It's really amazing. I wanted to look at that one because it kind of like informed the rest of the intros that we did for GMM. Um, that had a VO from your friend Mick uh, and yeah. music by Roger Lima, Lima, Lima. Deep in the subterranean tunnels of embarrassment, a single drop of sweat from the hardest working man to ever live <laughs> fell <laughs> into the squishy center <laughs> of forgotten jelly, germinating the wild nut of freedom and subsequently wild conceiving nut. the mythical show with Rat and Link. On this week's show, Craigslist Craig Calls, Forest Patrol, Tony Hale, a musical performance, and more! And now, here are Rhett and Link! Yeah, really <laughs> made you want to watch the show. I love it so that was, much! That's, 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 a, that's a favorite. Um, we rewrote the intro. It's different every time. Yeah. So the intro was always different. Mm -hmm. The story yeah. was always different. So you could, um, the, the visual meant something new. And that's how we got to know <laughs> pa Paisley, who's now who's now part stick of the Stick your head yeah. in here. No, you can, yeah, come, come yeah, in. Yeah, stick any body some... part you want in here. So you were saying stick your face. Or, I'm all in. Was it, Look was it for come the mythical in. show intro that, so so Paisley it did, it was the, the, the head of yes, Digital Twigs and now one. works with us all of the time. But you said for the mythical show intro, was that the, um, the hours pulled? Yeah, it was a little wild. That was I mean, it, you look at it, you're like, oh, this is crazy, because it's all real. Yeah. Yeah, well. Link was like, it's cool if you guys take a couple extra days, but Rhett's freaking out. You're taking so long. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to work two 23-hour days in a row, not sleeping, totally just in like a, like a daze. And I decided to crash my car into another guy who was in a brand new Audi on a first date. Good. Because I, I thought that would help get the work done. And oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. so. Sometimes you got to so take out then. your frustration. And yeah. in the meantime, 
I'm like calling like, hey, can we bring our families over <laughs> so that yeah. my kids can see how you're building this? Because that's not gonna yeah. slow you down any. That was fun though. And you were so gracious, like you they gave them so... all this tour and they'll never forget it. Good. And your glasses were bigger and round. Yeah, I had like my big glasses on. <laughs> yeah, that was way <laughs> Those 23 hour days, you need big glasses. <laughs> <laughs> but we love that intro so much. We we decided to redo the GMM intro with Digital Twigs as well. Um, so this launched July 14th, 2014. It was season six through season eight. And the song is by Pomplamoose, who yes. we were very big fans of, and we reached out to see if they would be interested in redoing the GMM song, moving away from that royalty-free. Yes. Um, and let's take a look at that. Yes. yes. Short, sweet. It had that okay. mythical show vibe to it. This is the, uh, so the cockatrice from that animation has been in your office, and I asked to get it for this. Well, the what problem is, is it's kind of it's, already broken. Yeah, what do you mean break it? It's, uh... <laughs> See this, this neck part? Yep, chicken neck broke. Now, hold on, That's David, you just broke it. No, David did not break it. No, it's been like it's been like. Yeah, that. no, it hasn't. That's what chicken. That's what they look like from the other side. If you turn a cockatrice around. Yeah. Oh. It's yeah. good, right? So Look at yeah, him. that's in our office. Oh, I don't, yeah, because I don't think anybody had any idea. When watching that, you have no idea what right. the scale is. But this is the scale. See my hand? That is the scale of the chicken, <laughs> of the cockatrice. Cockatrice, chicken. So then. We did it again, January 11th, 2016, season nine through 11. Let's take a look. Yes, and now we're kind of in like Monument Valley meets Joshua Tree kind mm -hmm. of a situation. Kind of funky. And what yeah. if we go from the perspective of the cockatrees or riding the cockatrees? And then most yeah, recently, the intro from uh, seasons 12 through 14, launched in August 2017. We remixed the song. Uh, Jeff Z Ziegler, Ziegler remixed the song. Uh, and this is that. Clean, crisp. Hey, look at this guy. What? Who? Where's that from? Can I bend the? Is yeah, it gonna? Where's that from? From this your is, intro. Yeah. We just saw it. What do you mean, man? That, it's, right from there. That, it's that guy. You want this on your shelf? As I mean, well? I haven't seen it. I've never I've seen never that. I've never seen that person. either. I've been keeping it. Look what at you, <laughs> you didn't give us that one. You want to touch Look it? Look at that one. Wow. Yeah, he's not broken. Oh my god. Just in case you need to know the scale, <laughs> here's my hand, and here's the cockatrice. Yeah, so that was, we, we went on a, a different, um, of. kind of a different route for that intro. We wanted to not be traveling through something. We wanted to be transforming. Yeah, and we also added the with Rhett and Link, just to remind you, it's with Rhett and Link. Yeah, and then finally. Where has this thing been? Uh, in my, why? <laughs> <laughs> you kept that one. Why do you I'm ask? Gonna, I'm gonna put it back. <laughs> I know, you keep, you, you, you keep in that one. All right, we got that one, you can keep that one. You, can just, you can just live right here. If you haven't been watching the show uh, for the past couple weeks, here we are with our new intro. Cool. And that was done by Dana Schechter. And it is a personal favorite of all of ours, I, I do believe. Yeah, we well, went I, different... I, watching them all, it's like, I got a special place in my heart for every single one. Yeah, and, and, and Mark, it's like, our, well, our music there was... producer, Mark Byers, remixed that as well, so it was his yeah, first so shot Yeah, so there was that. very, like, uh, you know, we're tr in trying to do something different with each one, and I think that uh, we were like, you know what, we want to maintain this whole in a world kind of feel, but let's go for a, a different genre, you yeah. know? So let's move away from the stop motion. So it's funny, I saw a comment about how like we stick, we stuck with the stop motion, but this is like, it's not stop motion. This is collage that's yeah. animated. Uh, so yeah, so that's that. And so this, you know, since we changed the intro for GMM, I thought like, is it time to change the intro for LTAT? Is it? Um, uh -oh. I, I, you know, I had an idea, we shot it, Ultimately, I felt like you know it. I I enjoyed the current intro we had, but I wanted to show it to you guys and uh, and see what you thought. It's 
It's a beautiful day in this L tat hood. An L tatty day for an L tat. Tat you be mine. Would you be L? It's an L tattly day in this beauty tat. A tattly tat for an L tat. Stevie Levine. Rhett likes beans. I have always wanted to talk about that just with you. I've always wanted to live on screen with the mythical crew. Let's tat the most of this L tatty day. We'll talk about that all Saturday. All of the time, Link wants to find a way to cure his herpes. Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you talk about that? Welcome to this L tat, mythical beasts. <laughs> Stevie! I didn't know you could almost sing. Well, okay, so here's the thing. When we were watching the Mr. Rogers intro, he doesn't really sing. He kind of it's like talk talks. Yeah, he's yeah. the first rapper. So, and <laughs> also, the first also, it's not really to a beat of any kind. So uh, that that whole time of uh, me recording the vocals, Mark made the sound alike track, and then I just didn't wind up using it at all because I was like, this is so weird when you actually try and talk sing this. Oh. And then we lip synced it in the room. So it, since it was a single camera move, we had to do it over and over again. And poor Chase was just in the just... closet the whole time. <laughs> like, <laughs> I kept being like, are you okay? Did I throw my jacket at you I too think he, he, like he was enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fabulous. Yeah. That was, but wow. I like our intro now. I okay. think we'll stick to that one. Well, you know what? what I don't. How, how many <laughs> I like that one. How many comments? That's amazing. How many comments are we going to get? about no yeah. you should really seriously <laughs> use that one can you imagine oh it's can you little, imagine um I mean, no i won't it's a I little long so maybe we just use a piece of it so okay. over the course yeah, of yeah, a yeah. month great right. here's course, the real here's the time. real feedback um well if that wasn't thrilling enough i mentioned i was i was on uh, youtubers react for the first I, time i got it okay tell me more about your singing experience I wasn't really even singing. Are you trained? Ben, Ben. <laughs> Do you sing? Don't, don't. Let's move on. It's bad. No, no, no. Yes. Hold on, did you get ben, any footage of her singing, yeah. recording? Uh, we because have the entire track. See. It's very, anytime I record voiceover or anything, we're t I was talking about how we should do a behind the scenes thing because me sitting down, like for the top fives last year, me sitting down and doing all the voiceover, right. for some reason it becomes like very difficult and so you get a lot of <laughs> expletives and things from me. So this, uh, this was interesting as well, um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. can are we good? Are we? Can I? Yeah, you can. You can good? move on. Um, I won't, but you can. So YouTubers react. It's been an institution of YouTube yeah. since December of 2012, which I thought it was like it's kind of odd that. Uh, so we're not the doing this in order. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so Benny reached out to me and he was like, I have a crazy idea, but why don't you come on YouTubers React? And I was like, me? Okay, I'll do it. But don't tell Rhett and Link because I want them to react to it. And then we shot two videos and when the first one came out, I was like, oh, I have to tell you guys now because it would be very weird if and you saw it on Twitter. And that's when I found out. When yes, you told exactly. Me. So I walked into your office and I said, like, I didn't want to tell you this, but I was on you YouTubers React. Um, but don't watch anything. So and when you when you said it, <clears throat> it sounded like you were preparing us for something we were going to be upset about. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to tell you this, but I was on YouTubers React. Like it would be I a betrayal crap of our <laughs> trust, <laughs> not of like a preservation of our reaction. Yeah. So, so I was like, I'm um, not upset, Stevie. I'm glad you did it. Yeah, I think was my response. Well, it turned. I mean, yeah. Well, I, you can see how it how it turned out Maybe uh, I will be for upset. me. Um, but I. Uh, I went, uh, they, you know, they shoot on Sunday, and um, so I went over there, and it quickly became apparent to me, at least, that nobody working there knew who I was at all, which <laughs> is right, like, that should be the case, but um, the the person at the front desk, um, she, you know, you, you sign in, they have a whole process, and she was like, oh, um, Benny wants to see you? <laughs> like, was like, like, like no. ah, that's weird. <laughs> Apparently, he does want to talk to you. Um, so I went and talked to uh, talked to Benny, and then they vlog everything. And I couldn't find the vlog probably is out, but I couldn't scrub through to see. So they have a wall where all the YouTubers sign. 
and I was signing the wall You're and a I YouTuber saw now. yeah and I saw your How does it signature feel? and so I was like oh I, there's written link signature and she was like oh yeah we have a lot of people come in here and I was like okay she doesn't know who I am either <laughs> <laughs> why I would be pointing at your signature she thought I was just a super fan <laughs> but anyway so I did two videos the first one was meme based which I am terrible at but I felt a lot better about the second video I shot which came out more recently um, we went through the top 10 videos according to YouTube of 2018 and here's oh. that short clip so today we're gonna be showing you the top 10 most trending videos of 2018 from a list released by YouTube and we're gonna see if you can correctly place them in order from 1 to 10 yes. great awesome ah yes, uh, yes. Walmart Yearling Kid. You gotta start somewhere in the middle, but like I just, I feel like this one's gonna be at the top part. Number three. It's number one. That's the most prominent digital memory I have from 2018 was this kid. I miss this completely. This one goes at number eight. I'm gonna say nine right now. This, really? Cobra Kai? Who didn't see this? Considering YouTube advertised it across the entire platform. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, I don't know this one. Of course. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is a Vietnamese YouTube channel which often posts sketches, including this film, which is two hours long. Wow. Do you hear Yanny? Laurel. Oh my god. Oh f this. Or, oh. Today's gonna be a different kind of video. We're gonna be doing the whisper <laughs> chat. <laughs> <No. laughs> oh, this is so sad. No. <laughs> Somehow the funniest <laughs> breakup <laughs> video of all time. <laughs> so here's yeah, the thing. These are just videos, you know? It's it's not an easy thing to do to react to stuff. No! no you <laughs> but you did great. And, but how does it feel to now officially be a YouTuber? You know, it kind of feels the same as it as it's felt for a bit. But, Don't worry, but you'll, my, you'll get but a chip on your shoulder soon. I, I feel like a reactor now, so that's something. I have a uh, like a very large robe that says YouTube on it that I got <laughs> in some event. I'd be willing to let you use it. No, I'm good, thank you. Maybe <laughs> Come on, please, maybe wear his own, robe. Maybe YouTube will. He's send trying me to give you his robe. My own uh, robe now that I I'm lost the thing that closes the robe. Oh god. <laughs> I did, I did, I lost it. So just keep that in mind when you wear it. Okay, good. <laughs> all right, that's all I got. So now our final line. Until next LTAT, keep, keep on BYMB.